story but long story short the audio in this video is kind of fucked. as you're watching the video you'll see that my phone was making the microphone give a really weird feedback and buzzing noise and for hours i contemplated just deleting the whole thing but then i thought you know what this video is too quality and it must go out that being said i would recommend that you watch this one video of mine without headphones so you can still enjoy the asmr but hey if you're a weirdo like me maybe the buzzing of the microphone actually gives you tingles and hopefully so because if it does then great fantastic but anyway i think you guys are gonna enjoy this one so smash the like button you know how it is and uh, i will catch you in the next one intentionally and if you know you have your phone in your back pocket yes i just picked my nose i'm i'm so sorry about that sometimes you get your on camera guys but we all do it like don't 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 try to hold me to some perfect standard <laughs> some perfect standard because i'm on youtube like i'm just like you bro like like we're damn near twins look <laughs> it wasn't even a big pick it was like a anyway it was just like an itch it does nothing in my nose before all of these videos i clean my nostrils bro anyway whatever welcome back to first of all i know you guys can hear this fan yes my fan is on I've, i finally put on my fan a lot of you are telling me in my last video hey man why don't you just put on your fan you're gonna you're gonna just it's not crisp silence but it's silent enough right this is this the fan ambiance not bad right secondly welcome back to guys are hilarious i love you guys you guys make me laugh because little did i know or well, i knew this a lot every single comment i kid you not in my last video every single comment was talking about how squoze my shirt is yes i have an iron my iron is right there literally but when i record this video this video is being recorded at three in the morning when i record these videos who the hell can be asked to iron a shirt at three in the morning like I've been playing chess for like three, four hours. I'm tired. I don't want to do iron my shirt. Normally I do iron my shirt, I can't even lie. I feel like on camera it doesn't look as squoosed as it is though. It's squoosed, bruh. It's squoosed. Anyway, welcome back to the to the to the eighth or ninth edition of Random Facts with your boy Roscoe. You know the drill. We're just gonna sit here and you're just gonna enjoy these facts with me. We're just gonna go through them. All I ask, the best facts might be towards the end because I'm not in my old videos. I used to order them from best to not the best. I don't want to say worst because I didn't really read bad facts, but the best to not the best, right? But in this, I'm just reading. We're just going to sit here for about 40 minutes, 30 minutes, 35 minutes, and we're just going to read facts together. So all I pledge is if you start this video and you stop at like 25 minutes, the next night watch the final 10 minutes because you have to get all of these facts in do we have a deal all right cool smash the like button right now did you smash it good that's not a pause is it cool let's <laughs> let's get into the video bro dig this every sea in pacific ocean is pronounced differently Okay, that's, that's, first of all, off rip, what is this called? 100 mind-blowing facts you've never heard before. 100 of them. So number one, it's not mind-blowing, can we both agree? Like, <laughs> this is not mind-blowing. You know what, I would read this, but let's just move on, because, damn. Number two, dig this, black apples exist. Now I'm going to put a picture on the screen right now of what this black apple looks like. And let's read it. This is kind of interesting. We tend to think of apples as being red. Though they are, of course, some popular green and yellow varieties. But did you know that they are also black apples? They're called black diamond apples. Now that sounds cool. That sounds intriguing. Let's continue. They're found in Tibet also known as the Chinese Red Delicious. Now, let's just... 
let's just pause there for a second why why do people do that and i know you guys know exactly what i mean why do scientists or whoever's naming these things why do they do that so the thing is clearly black right i mean you saw the picture it's black so why did the chinese decide to name it red i think grade a under a he once made a video very very similar to this and basically explaining that scientists are just mad weird when they come to naming stuff because there's certain stuff that are named this color but it's not actually this color like a red panda is more so orange than red and if you can think of any more comment down below because I'm, I'm sure there's multiple instances in the animal kingdom specifically where they name stuff a color that it's clearly not and you're wondering like why would you do that anyway let's let's continue reading aside from the black outer color actually it's an extremely dark shade of purple <laughs> so you mean to tell me that this apple is not even black like it's a dark shade of purple like my dewey it's not even black but they call it black and then the chinese call it red see my gripe do you see what i'm saying these apples look just like any other red delicious apple down to the white flesh inside so basically it's a purple apple a bruised apple it's like a plum but it's like an apple red you call it a red apple you call it a, 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 a black apple it's purple dark purple bro whatever dig this <laughs> shaped robots are used to test phones i swear to god that i've i read this before if you ever put your phone in your back pocket you're aware that the backside poses a danger to it well unless you weigh let's say the cough is like 257 pounds anything less than that a phone should be able to do this it's it's due diligence unless you're sitting on like a very hard bench very hard like you 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 fall onto the bench like this intentionally and if you know you have your phone in your back pocket yes i just picked my nose i'm i'm so sorry about that sometimes you look at you on camera guys but we all do it like don't 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 try to hold me to some perfect standard <laughs> some perfect standard because i'm on youtube like i'm just like you bro like like we're damn near twins look <laughs> it wasn't even a big pick it was like a anyway it's just like an itch it there's nothing in my nose before all of these videos i clean my nostrils bro anyway whatever if you if you do sit down aggressively knowing there's a phone in your back pocket you're on full self-sabotage and that's that's your own l in it you have to hold this l I can't really say much about that but if you're below the threshold of 257 pounds I think you should be fine sitting on most things pause maybe <laughs> alright cool people often forget their phones are there when they sit down why would you put it in the back pocket then I mean men's pants trousers have multiple pockets just put it in the side you know tech fleece they have like a really big zipper pocket it's perfect for phones whatever this is why Samsung uses butt-shaped robots to test their products. According to the Business Insider, the fake bums sit on Samsung phones over and over again to test their durability and bending. That is cool. That's so, so they're investing money. They built robots. I can't. There's no picture of it, but they built robots specifically shaped like shaped like bums. I wonder. If they shaped after any bum in particular for example 2009 kim kardashian excellent bum that would be that would be a great bum to to shape it after but then it's like a regular human bum right so i guess it's like made of the same kind of textures and like if you if you slapped kim's bum it would like jiggle and stuff so and then they sit it down on phones and stuff so they built a robot specifically for that 
luckily that's not taxpayers dollars because if it was I'd be pissed I'd be like damn you're spending my taxpayers dollars on this BS it's like no you're not like you're spending my taxpayers to free the NHS or something like not this anyway oh thank Kim Kardashian if you're watching this that stuff dig this there are giant pigs as heavy as polar bears polar bears I'm, I'm almost certain that a polar bear isn't as big as a brown bear or black bear but they are still bears they're massive if a they said as heavy so not as big I guess but they they gotta be pretty damn big you know I watched Predator the other day and um Dylan not Dylan what's his name Mac you know the guy who his friend got killed I can't remember his friend's name but that proper American tyra sexual tyrannosaurus guy <laughs> the guy who spits the charcoal and had that big machine gun like a big machine gun after he died they set out like a basically um Mac would watch basically he went out a watch so you, you watch for a couple of hours and you go to sleep and the next person wakes up and watches for a couple of hours they were in a jungle and Mac got attacked by a pig and they thought the pig was the predator and then he killed it it's like what if that pig was as big as a polar bear not only would Mac probably be a goner earlier than he ended up going in the movie but that's tough a polar bear is massive polar bears are so heavy they could be walking like these and then ice would just collapse right under them that's how heavy these niggas are and it's like yo pigs that's a lot of bacon bacon that's a lot that's a lot of bacon that's a lot of sausages that's a lot of pigs in blankets that can feed that stuff i wonder what they do with those pigs those pigs are probably worth like five thousand to seven thousand to ten k per head that's tough oh wow never mind i'm i'm capping due to its size it will likely bring in about one thousand four hundred pounds or dollars that's not a lot a polar bear size of bacon come on man come on man charge more money man not to say go with the rates of inflation but just charge more that's tough that's too big dig this Japanese golfers have a hole in one insurance did I read that right it appears I did that's interesting let's let's continue reading if you think you take sports seriously consider that an estimated 4 million golfers in Japan make sure to have hole in one insurance before taking a swing and I've been doing this since as early as the policy was offered in 1982, amateur players play, pay a premium of $65 a year for $3,500 in coverage. The extra cash comes in handy if the golfer nails the impressive feat and then is expected to celebrate by paying for food and drinks and gifts, which can cost a bit. That is amazing. So, so basically, the feat of getting a hole in one, so like, you smack a ball from here all the way to the target and it just goes in in japan i guess they have they, they love that so much and they hold it to such high prestige that after it's done a lot of money can you it can cost you a lot of money that one thing because you're expected to buy drinks celebrate it basically like a birthday like a earth strong so it's like they, <laughs> To anticipate this they take out insurance that is amazing <laughs> people insure their cars I've never heard of your insuring an action because that action is so highly rated that's amazing dig this Walt Disney World would fit inside Canada 81,975 times that is tough Walt well, Disney is a big place, but Canada is way bigger. In fact, it's the second largest country in the world, coming after Russia and before the United States. Wow, that's tough. You know, you don't really think about it because Canada is part of North America, right? Canada is not its own continent, but it really could be. That's how big it is. Like when you think of a map, South America is 
you know, it's there, and America's there, but then Canada's like the second largest country in the world. I know for a fact you don't think of that often. When you think about Canada, you're not like, wow, that's the second largest country in the world, but Canada, shout out to Canada, bro. Like you Canadians, I love your accent. You, you scratch my car, eh? Hey, yo, bro, you scratch my car, eh? Hey, yo, come to that Earth Strong birthday thing early still. Like, you, you, you Canadians are pretty cool. Canadians and people from London, we share very similar accents. No accents, sorry, lingo. Like, how we talk, the words we use. <clears throat> it's, it's funny because Canadians and people from London will try to claim it like, oh, look, Canadians are stealing our, our lingo, our slang. Oh, look, people from London are stealing our slang. Funnily enough, we get the same slang from the same place. Jamaica, so technically everyone's stealing Jamaica's slang, it's not that Jamaica's, uh, or, or you're stealing this, you're stealing from the same place, but just get over it, just go in peace, speak the same, as cool, it sounds great, fine, <laughs> ridiculous, dig this, the kangaroo mouse never needs to drink water, so I'm looking at a picture of this mouse just real quick before I even read it, and the only reason I think that this is called a kangaroo mouse is because of how big its feet are in in, in relation to its body. Because you think of the, the size of a kangaroo, this is the smallest mouse I've ever seen. I think this is another one of those things where scientists were like, you know what? Kangaroos, they're big, they're strong, they're aggressive. You know, kangaroos, if they'd done the most muscular pose, like, they would outshine, they would win all kinds of Mr. Olympias. They're so strong and they're so built, they don't even bench press, that's tough. God's kind of crazy when he made these animals. Anyway, this this mouse is probably the smallest mouse that they have, that they've ever found. So they said, you know what, let's name it like a strong animal, just to take the biscuit. I hear it though. To be honest, if I was a scientist, what are they called? Anthropologist, maybe some, some, some shit like that. I would be on some BS like that too. I would be naming all kinds of stuff. Listen, this, this, this little fragrance right here, I would name this Timothy just because if I was a scientist what's life without whimsy shout out Sheldon Cooper for that because it's a fact despite being named after the Australian animal the kangaroo mouse lives near the Nevada desert and since it resides in such a dry area it learned to adapt by getting all its hydration it needs via the seeds it eats this means the kangaroo mouse never drinks water I guess not intentionally but it does get water whatever dig this this is pretty interesting spending just a few months in antarctica can shrink your brain now if you're like me which if you're watching me i think a lot of you guys are like me like we think very similar ways it's just that sometimes i think of things that you guys can't see and if you're like me you're probably wondering Thank you, stomach. If you're like me, you're probably wondering how can spending a couple months in, in Antarctica shrink your brain? Well, we're gonna find out right now, together. Together is spelled to get her. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Like, that's how I've always remembered it since I was a kid. To get her pregnant. Anyway, if you take a trip to Antarctica, be sure, be sure be sure to do so socializing as much as possible and come up with stimulating ways to keep yourself busy research published in the new england journal of medicine in december 2019 explained that brain imaging in eight polar expeditioners before and after 14 months of isolation showed that the volume of their hippocampal dentate gurus some part of the brain basically was lower than it in is it in its controls so in in other words being in this place shrunk your brain that's not really what i want to get at. i want to get at why okay it says researchers believe that the changes in the brain they observed are the result of environmental monotony and prolonged isolation okay you know this this fact right here I thought it was going to be really interesting, but it turned out to not be. So, 
in other words, isolation and being alone caused the brain to shrink a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. Smaller than a regular person's brain. So basically, if you're isolated anywhere, your brain could shrink. So there's nothing specifically about Antarctica that can make your brain shrink. That is so lame. This is what, number, number nine, this website right here, right? Let me turn off this light. Actually, should I make it a color? No, I'm not. I'm going to turn it off. That's tough. This website right here. You've been doing well. You started bad. The first fact wasn't cool. But the ninth fact is not cool. So you're... You're, you're 8 for 10. 8% 8 from the field. That's not bad. Actually, to be honest, I shouldn't really be complaining. Let's, let's get going. <laughs> Dig this. A prank once convinced people in Germany that Hansel and Gretel were real. The hell? You're telling me Hansel and Gretel aren't real? Okay, so I guess this guy, he wrote a book in Germany and in the book he claimed that the brother and sister were actually murderous adult siblings who lived in the mid, in the mid 17th century and they had killed a witch in order to get hands on a recipe for gingerbread-like treat. <laughs> what the hell? The book even included fake evidence, like a piece of paper that had the recipe written down. The story apparently caused an uproar According to Atlas Obscura, who wrote, who note that, what the fuck? First of all, it's 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 really not that serious. It's not that deep. But second of all, why? So, people believed it based on a story, not not like research or anything. Like Hansel and Gretel itself is a <laughs> Hansel and Gretel itself is a story. And so a guy wrote another story and that somehow convinced people that this story was real. So let's say I wrote a story and I wrote a story about how, I don't know what's a very famous story, but that's clearly not true. Snow White, that's what well, I think Snow White actually happened, but it didn't happen like it happened in the, in the Disney movie. Let's just say I wrote a story saying it happened exactly how it happened in a Disney movie. Does that suddenly make a lot of people think, wow, after reading this, I'm like, yeah, 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 Snow White was real. Listen, these German people, shout out Germany though, if you're in Germany, but if you're one of these people that got bamboozled by this little, little lame prank, damn, dig this. Greenland sharks don't reach sexual maturity until they are 150 years old. Before I even read this, I can't even imagine. Technically, if their lifespan is mad long, right? Then it would make sense, but 150 years. What kind of beers? Like, why though? But why? Even if their lifespan was like really long, like Dumbledore, right? Why? 150 years? Why? That's too long. Okay, let's, let's just read this because that's tough. Greenland sharks, which are also known as gurry sharks or grey sharks. Oh shit, they're grey sharks. Tend to live long lives. Okay, that makes sense. As the longest living vertebrate on the planet, they can swim. What the hell? Why you? Oh, okay. Get the go, go, go. Sorry. They can swim in the ocean for about 400 years. And they don't reach sexual maturity until they're 150. 400 years. 400 years. So, in the ocean, there are still sharks swimming about now. That they were in the 17th century. That is... 17th century shark what the hell i wonder you know on the surface things change like really quickly well not really quickly it, it just started to change really quickly at a certain point so like the the let's just say the 12th 
century, right? The 12th century all the way to the 19th century. Things were like standard. They changed, but they changed pretty slowly. All of a sudden, from the 19th century to 21st century, things accelerated dramatically. This is one of the reasons why it's not, it's not scientists, but people believe that aliens came down to Earth. They believe that aliens came down to Earth because that, that, so it's, it's like this, it's going steady and it's steadily increasing, I guess, but then all of a sudden it does this, something must have happened in that point for there to just be a sudden exponential curve in technology, right? So that's why people are, oh man, it must be aliens. Aliens helped people build the pyramids back in the day and then they left and then they came back and gave us technology. Now listen, if I, I, I don't believe that. I think aliens poss possibly exist, but obviously, well, it's not obvious, but I don't believe that, just for the record. <laughs> but what I was saying is, so things on the surface world, shout out to Aquaman, on the surface world, change quick. But what does ocean look like in the 17th century compared to the 21st century what does the ocean look like is it very very similar or is their home changing dramatically and quickly the only thing i can imagine is okay maybe more litter more pollution but that's it dig this the longest bicycle in the world is over 135 feet long now, the most obvious question to that is, why? <laughs> if you've ever ridden a tandem bike, you know that it may be tricky to get one moving. So just imagine how hard it must have been to ride a bike that stretched for 135 feet and 10.7 inches, making, the, making it the longest bike in the world. Yeah, 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 cool, but why? You know, it's a mystery what people decide to do with their time and resources. <laughs> like, people have a lot of time. Of course, like, if you were living a really busy life, you could have never made this yourself. Obviously not. But let's say you're, you're, you have a lot of time on your hands and you also have a lot of resources. So the materials to make a bike 135 feet long. So one day you're like, you know what? I'm bored as hell. Let's make a big ass bike. <laughs> let's let's go for the record. I want to make a bike so big, yeah, that it can't even fit in a it can't even fit in a room. It's like how many wheels does this bike have? Is it a two? Is it a two wheeler? Because that's not even possible, in it. That that's not even a well. I guess it's still considered a bike. Is it? Because I could have sworn a bike has two wheels, unless it's another type of bike. So, for, for example, a quad bike, it's not a bike because it has four wheels, which is why you have to have quad in it. Just like if it has three wheels, it is a tricycle. If it has only one wheel, it's not a bike, it is a unicycle, right? So, this bike must have had two wheels. So, let's imagine this distance is 135, right? The wheels had to have been here. Do you know why would you do that? But this is irking me. Don't piss me off. That better not be taxpayers' money, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? No, 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 no. This is gonna piss me off. Dig this. Now, I'm gonna put it on the screen because this is ridiculous. What? Okay. I'm about to say, I'm about to make this declaration. This might just be the craziest fact I've ever read out in this series. Out of the like seven or eight or nine facts videos I've made, this might be the craziest one. The weirdest one. I've never seen a fact like this in my life. Now, listen to this. A couple once tried to name their child. They tried to do this. Now I'm gonna put the, the name on the screen so you can see it for yourself. But I'm going to I'm going to read out the letters. 
and numbers. <laughs> so, capital B R F X X C C X X M N B C C C C four C's L L. I don't know if this dash is part of the name or it's just because they need a new line, but dash capital I. Oh no, it is part of the name. Oh my god, <laughs> capital I M M N. B X B R X V C L M N C K S S Q L B B one 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 six and all of this is pronounced Albin Like I'm not kidding, it's pronounced Albin A L B I N. It's, it's a mystery and it's often fascinating what, what people can do with their time and resources. Elon Musk, shout out to Elon Musk, but Elon, he named his daughter like, or his kids like some, some very, very odd spelling of names, but I think they're still intelligible, right? Like you can still see the name and sound out, or am I wrong? Maybe it's like some really weird, I don't know. I've, I've heard the names kind of mad this one is just ridiculous this is like gibberish but pronounced Albin why would you do that let's let's don't, it's a celebrity oh my god don't do that oh you know what's so crazy look this, this ridiculous name that I read out. It, they had reportedly chosen the name to protest Sweden's strict name related laws. Which is why it may not be surprising that their name selection was rejected. Oh, so it was like a it was like a ploy. It wasn't actually some 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 crazy people. So I guess they wanted to name the son Albin, but they wanted to spell it. You know what's so mad? call my bluff test my bluff what if the swedish uh, uh naming law people were like yo you want to name your son b b r x x y y z okay fine go ahead like we allow it now you you submitted it we accept they'll be like no 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 no, no. like we were just we were just trying to don't go anywhere you can't back up your son is named b i'm gonna put on the screen that's your son's name people can call him alvin if you want but if he ever gets an award, this is his name right here. This is his name. And this is your fault. Your son will grow up to hate you. Albin's not here. Listen, if you're, if you're an Albin watching this video, hold tight you. I like you because you like me and I hey, reciprocate energy. But Albin's not even a great name. Why would you name him some BS like that just to call him Albin? Alvin dig this text messages sent by eagles bankrupted a scientific study just off rip eagles don't send text messages they send mail by eagle mail by raven for example game of thrones but you don't send a text message from an eagle you can only text from your phone you don't okay let's just yeah, I'm not reading that. That's, that seems mad, long and boring. Bankrupt the scientific study, that's it. <laughs> Dig this. The longest tiramisu ever was measured at 897 feet and 3 inches. Pause. Pause. Rewind. Like I said previously, why do people do things like this? This tiramisu, all the ingredients that you use to make such a tiramisu could have fed a thousand people in Africa. Not that they would like tiramisu, but if they were starving, then they would eat it regardless. And that would have been a good gesture. Instead, people in the first world, you know, first world problems are so crazy to me. Because 
because sometimes I sit there and I listen to people complain about their problems and people like to say oh like you shouldn't you shouldn't compare people's people's struggles because people rationalize their own struggle the same as someone in like a like a poverty-stricken company would rationalize their struggles I'm like I cool but then sometimes I'm like damn like some of the things you guys are calling it oppression like you guys are like titling it all these flamboyant and big words oh my god I'm so I'm so oppressed and I'm looking at I'm like yo you know what oppression actually is first of all just off rip it's a first world privilege to even to even call something oppression in people in in, in the world when people are actually oppressed they're not calling it oppression they have no you know why because they have no time to call it oppression because they're actually oppressed but in the first world you have we have so much um what is the word we're so privileged all of us we're so privileged It's like it's like three in the morning and a helicopter's going over my yard. We're so privileged. We're so privileged to the point that it's like we're saying things and and playing victims and doing certain things to ourselves and we're labeling it such big names and it's like a part of me, listen, I'm gonna just cut it short, a part of me is like damn, it's kind of disrespectful to people who are actually oppressed. Because actual oppression doesn't look anything like you're describing it. But whatever. Maybe I'll make a video about that on my other channel, who knows. Dig this. There are computers for the Amish. Which has no internet, videos or music. You know what? Some people laugh at Amish people for living a certain way like this. Like they live with no internet, no music, no, no whatever. But I think, me personally, the reason that they do it is actually a good reason. I think that certain principles lead to just, I don't want to say a better quality of life, but they lead to good things. Because without music, you're not influenced by bad music. Without videos, you're not influenced by bad videos. And without internet, you're not in uh, influenced by the dark side of the internet, right? Like the negative and addictive and debaucherous and evil side of the internet and what Amish are religion right they're religious people right so they, they want to live a very let's just let's just say righteous because I don't know if they're actually religious so let's just say righteous life well that's kind of perfect this this computer wouldn't you say so Amish people tend to reject modern ways the key selling point perhaps not surprisingly is the computers doesn't do anything according to the NPR no internet no videos no music so it's used for basic business and only business yeah that makes sense so like typing word documents printing there's no internet so you can't really send emails which is which is kind of pointless that's not business you're okay like you can fill out a spreadsheet for your business you can type a letter and then print it to send it in the post listen if you're Amish watching this video shout out you but that's a life that I could never live man but listen I'll tell you if you're Amish <laughs> dig this a parking spot in Hong Kong sold for almost one million dollars I wish you know sometimes I wish I was as innovative as some people if you're listen, if I see a parking spot and I stand in that spot and no one can move me and I say I'm not moving unless someone gives me one million dollars and someone offers me a million dollars, I'd be like, damn, it worked. <laughs> I don't think that's what happened here though, so let's read it. If you think parking is expensive in your area, you'll be shocked by how much a parking spot can cost in Hong Kong. A 135 foot parking spot. Oh, it's a big parking spot. So this picture's, oh, this picture's not even the parking spot. Okay, cool, say less. A 135-foot parking spot in front of the city's fifth tallest building. The center was purchased for damn near a million dollars. This was the fourth lucrative transaction for businessman Johnny Ching. 
you made six figures off the first three parking spaces. I don't get it though. So like people would, you, you'd pay just to park in front of this expensive building. I mean, I get it. People have money, but it's like, damn, even if you're a billionaire, a million dollars is still a million dollars. Like even if to a billionaire, a million dollars is like 10 pounds to us. 10 pounds is still 10 pounds. So 10 pounds could buy me a, a, a box of chicken. 10 pounds could buy me a pizza, two pizzas and a drink. You know what I mean? Maybe two years ago. But regardless, a million pounds, regardless of if it actually feels like 10 pounds to you, that's still a milli. So why would you spend it on something frivolous? <clears throat> Who knows, bro? Dig this. And I've heard this one before and I'm pretty sure some of you have too. The Incredible Hulk was originally supposed to be grey and these helicopters are pissing me off. So let's just hope that, well you're definitely going to be able to hit them but let's just hope that it's not that deep. Nah, it's deep. Bro, is that a UFO? Like what's going on? What's going on? You know, basically, the Incredible Hulk was supposed to be grey, but then, like, when they printed out a picture of him, I guess the grey ink ran out, and then he was green, and then, like, Steve, I mean, Jack Kirby and Stanley were like, you know, he looks better, so let's just keep him. I'm pretty certain that was how it went. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Hyde, the printing was having trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, basically. This... This is so strange, so at the time I decided to, I've been playing chess for for two, three hours, right? I've been studying chess and playing chess. But I finally had time to make this video and the time that I decided to make the video, all of these helicopters come out of the blue and start flying over, doing nothing. Like these pilots again are wasting taxpayer dollars and just flying around at night. Early in the morning, not at night, early in the morning, three AM, what are they looking for? A criminal? What are they looking for? Foxes? What are they looking for? A pound coin on the floor? Why? Why there's so many of them circling my building? Am I about to get? Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. <laughs> are they about to kick in my kick in my door? Like what's what's what's? I see footsteps outside. You know what? You know, actually, let's end it on a nice number. What well, this is not actually a nice one, so I, I probably won't end it on this. <laughs> that one's crazy. This the, this fact said, Japan has a phone call, has a phone to call the dead. So we're not we're not about first of all we're not about to read that, and second of all we're not going to end the video on that because that's tough. That's like crazy. <laughs> I, I don't want to give you guys nightmares. Like I'm not doing that. But let's 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 find a fact. That's really good, and let's end it on that. Yeah, that's that's not that's not that's not good. That's kind of boring. There's no record for the lie. Ah, that's kind of boring, dude. Wow, you know we're gonna end it on this. Dig this. The average human heart beats two point five billion times in the average lifetime they say that the heart and the eyes are the two most worked um, organs in the body well is your eye an organ I think it is yes it, it's not a surprise that you know people suffer from cardiac arrest I think cardiac arrest is like the I, I just said I was gonna I was gonna I was gonna end on a positive note you know what let's just stop there that's pretty cool though <laughs> like 2.5 billion times like that's a lot we just talked about how much a billion is to a millionaire i mean how much a million is to a millionaire a million is a billion is a thousand million times that by two and then add 0.5 to that that's a lot of beats during this video my heart has probably beated like like 18,000 times michael jackson beat is an elite record <laughs>